Okay, let's try this again and not get blown away instantly. Now that it's a new moon, Hecate should be susceptible to being attacked. Uh, yeah, of all the things that could happen in this world, that is not one of them. And I'm about to show you why. This is why. Yeah, that did so much. Well, I think it's safe to say that Hecate is screwed. Now just die. Yes. Now that we've gotten about like 10 level ups from the last bosses, uh, it's gonna be a while before we get another level up. Anyways, we have uh, three, uh, well four options. We can head back the way we came if you thought that was a good idea. We can te head to Tippereth, which is locked, and um, apparently the door is locked both ways. I don't really get it. We can head to Netsack, and we can head to Hod. We're gonna go to Netsack first. So we just head straight through. Um, I think there are a couple chests th through here though. So it would be worth our while to check them out. Let's see. Anything good in here? Yes, a box. That was a stamina incense. That was very worthwhile. Do I have any incenses I haven't used? Nope. Yeah, after a few levels, my HP is probably going to max out pretty soon. Once you uh, break 500, your HP tends to max out really fast. I think usually by level 60, I'm pretty close to maxing it out. There's nothing over here. Having Estima makes things so much more convenient. And in fact, I'm going to use it again, because I'm not sure when the last time I used it was. I'm pretty sure you can just renew it. Okay, nothing in there. And as soon as I can learn how to control the game, we can move on. Yeah, this is kind of annoying. You don't head straight to the areas that um, you chose to go to. You still have to go through some of the Yetazuric Passage. Or however the, however the hell you pronounce this. Okay, go through here. Should be there soon. Is this it? Well, there may be... Nope, I was hoping there was a box in there, but there wasn't. Okay, this is the exit. As soon as I can find the right door. There we go. We are now on our way to Nezak. Nezak. Whatever. Anyways, it's all the way over here. And, uh, it's a town, actually. But there is somebody you have to fight here. Now, the while it is a town, there isn't really anything interesting in it. In fact, I don't even think there's a teleporter in it, so... You pre you're pretty much just better off going straight to the end. And, oh crap, I better hurry, because I'm pretty sure I need to be at the full moon for the thing I want to do. Come on. Can I get there? Sabbaths usually, yeah, we need to go to a place during the full moon so we can partake in a Sabbath. Why would we do that? Well, we're not really going to partake in a Sabbath. We're just going to uh, crash one. Okay, come on, can I make it? Yes, just made it. If you come here any other time, uh, this guy, Crowley, he uh, won't be here. And... Uh, Lucifer will forbade him from having a Sabbath, and this dialogue just got awkward. Yeah. So, um... I guess Lucifer isn't a fan of constant Sabbath. And he Crowley transforms into Master Therian, and I'm, I don't exactly remember what this guy can do, so... It'd be best to, uh, set up some stuff, just in case. Actually, I'm pretty sure this guy is a Chaos Demon, so Divine Retribution should work on him. Ooh, and he's susceptible to poison. That'll make things a lot easier. If he's susceptible to silence, too, that is good. He's sealed. Okay, so now he's no threat. Okay, let's see if uh, Divine Retribution will work as soon as uh, Power gets her turn. Nope, did jack all. I'm guessing he's neutral then. 
yeah, Divine Retribution doesn't work on, um, it works on, like I said, it works on enemies of the opposing alignment, since this guy is probably neutral, or, I doubt he's law, but he's probably neutral, so it doesn't affect him. There are only a few neutral enemies throughout the game, actually. Okay. Come on. Take your death and, holy crap, I got hurt a lot somewhere. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, Shadow got a level up. Maybe we're closer to the level ups than I thought. Um, let's see. What do I want to increase? I'll go with Intelligence. Ooh, and we learned learn Toraport. Let's see. Uh, oh, uh, Crowley's dying here, and for defeating Crowley... Well, that wasn't a very good line of thinking, now, was it? We get the Lamed Key, one of the two keys that we need to get to Tipperith. Now, let's see if I can remember what Toraport does. Uh, let's see. Actually, I think I can check it somewhere. No, not me. You know what? Screw it. I think Torport is the one that sends you back to the last save point you were at. So let's test that out now. Oh, first, heal. And then, Torport. Um. Oh, I remember. It takes you back to the last place you saved. Since I did, technically didn't save in Yasad, uh, it took me back to uh, this place. But since I activated the terminal there, I can just teleport back. I'm not sure if it's quicker to just head back to the Yasad and then go to uh, back to where you fought Hecate from there, but whatever. So let's head back into the Yedder Zurich Passage, the Y Passage. The passage with the confusing name. And we'll head to the next area, Hod. We're actually coming up on an important point in the game. We're basically coming up to the point where your alignment is going to be set in stone for the rest of the game. So, um, if you are... If you aren't, uh, exactly sure what your alignment is, there are a couple things you should do to check it. If you can't summon Chaos Demons, or oppositely, you can't summon Law Demons, then you're either Law or Chaos. Law. If you're Law, you can't summon Chaos Demons. If you're Chaos, you can't summon Law Demons. And if you can summon both of them, you're neutral. But, uh, the thing is with being neutral is that you actually get to pick your alignment when the point comes for, uh, you to lock yourself in. But, uh, if you've been intentionally trying to stay neutral up until this point, I don't really know why you decide to all of a sudden make a change of heart. Anyways, we're going on our way to Hod. In Hod, we'll find another boss who will have a key we need. And I don't think we have to do any stupid thing with the moon phases to, uh, fight it. Let's see. I know there's one more incense in here. I'm not too concerned about fi finding it, since, uh, in this game I can actually go to Konga Kai and, uh, I can pretty much get as many incense incenses as I want. But, uh, I suppose until that point it would be useful to find them. Let's see. Is this the exit? Nope. Waste of my time. Is this the exit? Nope. Waste of my time. Is this the exit? God damn it. I walked right past it, I bet. Don't tell me it was the first door. Don't tell me this room was completely pointless. If this is it, I'm mad. I am... Wait, isn't this the way I came? Uh-oh. Well, then I guess I know what that means. The exit is this way! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. So, I'm just an idiot. Okay, and I always take a roundabout way for some reason. Anyways, we're in the hot area now. And, uh, we need to head over here. Is there a terminal stone here? I don't remember. Not all the towns in, a, in a, the uh, Abyss have terminals, but mo some of them do. Let's see, Kaifuku. I forgot, my Estima ran out. So let's set up another one. Not accidentally using tor Torport. See, is there a terminal here? And it's not important. Magic box, but I don't care about that. 
Anyways, just like the last area, we just need to get to the end and find a boss there who we can fight and take their key. If I can find them. That's the thing with the towns in the abyss. They are really large and really confusing for no real reason. I don't know why they designed them like this, but whatever. Let's see. Check my map. Well, that didn't help me much. Am I getting... And I think I just looped around back to the entrance. Yes, I did. So let's head straight this time. Okay, seriously, where is the end? I'm guessing it's this way. No. Um, hmm. Hold on. Was there... I'm probably just being an idiot for no reason and not checking out this door. Yes, I am. I feel smart. How did I not notice that before? Anyways, heading over this way. Hmm, this door looks like it leads to something. And I was right! Yeah. That's Tiamat. And, uh... Don't underestimate me. Why do people always underestimate me? When people underestimate me, they die. Seriously. Right. And guess what's going to happen. Now, actually, I want to do something real quick. Let's see. Use a Hiranya on power. Basically, what Hiranyas do is they restore health, but more importantly, they restore magic points. One of the few items in the game that actually restores your magic. And this is one of the most annoying things Tiamat can do is use uh, poison... Ah, oh, damn. That did barely anything. Yeah, I think the amount it actually heals is... Uh, it relates to the amount of magic they have. Since power doesn't have a lot of magic, that did relatively little. Anyways, I better set up a Rakukaja and have Shadow heal the poison from Kerberos. And, uh, just use extra abilities, I guess. Except Divine Retribution, which I don't have enough magic for. Ooh, a critical hit. Yeah, this boss can hit most of your party, which is a bit annoying. Okay, with that set up, we should be in the safe. This boss doesn't have too much HP, I think close to 2,000, so if I manage to do over 200 damage a turn, then she should go down pretty fast. Yeah, this is kind of the thing with this game, is that if you have good enough equipment and good enough demons, a lot of the fights, up until the end boss fights, you can pretty much auto-fight most of them. Anyways, with that, Tiamat is taken care of. Well, I was created in a lab. So I guess, in some sense, I'm slightly better than regular people. Ah, I'm better than people. And anyways, for that we get the A-N key, which will allow us to go into Tiphereth. And that'll take us to the next important point in the game. But, uh, we're running up on time in this video, so we're gonna have to take care of that next time. So until next time, see ya.